Today, we is here to uh, recap or review. I just looked at that like we about to do a review. Reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, niggas don't know what the fuck we about to do. <laughs> but no, nah, we about to, you know what I'm saying? We about to talk about Bird Box. Um, the, uh, the, the, the little sc description for the shit. Say like five years after an ominous unseen presence drives most of society to suicide. The survivor and the two children make a desperate bid to reach safety. The shit was crazy. The shit was motherfucking epic. The shit was everything that you would want to see in a scary, but it, 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 but it like was a thriller movie. Yeah, like a thriller movie. I liked everything about it, but at the end, at the end, my nigga, I just got so many questions. My, my thing is, what I will say is, it was a dope movie. The point that really kind of lost my interest and lost my kind of <clears throat> for the movie was in the house when basically they all died in the house like how they all died yeah like, like that just made me like that shit was like the scary part like that exactly, shit made me that was the, that's yeah. more intense like that exactly. shit made me look at it more like and then that's when after that it's kind of like it went to the other stuff she was she was kissing on the nigga yeah that shit just yeah, became a it, love story yeah exactly like, yeah. Yeah, like why the fuck this love story gotta always happen in society? Exactly. But <laughs> but the shit before that though, shit was really shit was getting happy. Niggas was well, walking around. Niggas. Well, I, I forgot to say even before a video, this was supposed to be like a a spoiler alert or whatever. If y'all niggas ain't seen it before, my father be ruining it for y'all. But, yeah, but that you shit, you click the video. I wonder why the fuck MGK. Yeah, shout out to where, MGK. Where, where, the hell, where the hell they go? Them niggas was like, them fuck niggas this shit. Them niggas, they ain't even go to the blind people home. Them niggas just went somewhere oh, yeah, else. Yeah, they died. They probably went somewhere and They died. probably said, all right, we'll go get some food, put our blindfolds on. Oh, well, you got to think, it, the, the blindfold is one thing, and then the cars you couldn't see out of and it. And then you got people that's just demons. Yeah, and you got the dark, whatever the shit is. The niggas is just le le ready to look at the damn light. It's just like shit, nigga, you need to see it. Like, For real. That shit was crazy. Dope movie, dope movie. Um, one thing that, like, I will say, I, well, a couple things I say I learned, but kind of already knew, uh, don't be letting motherfuckers in your house, because their problem becomes your problem, or, don't trust anyone. Or, or they may end up, you know what I'm saying, being the one to really fuck you up, like, the movie was just, the nigga that owned the house, got he was the Kill. first nigga to die. Yeah, yeah. So they just in his house. The nigga that knew all about the shit, he died. Trying to the die. nigga that had the strap, like, the main nigga that had the strap, he died. Like, damn. The old lady, she got stabbed. She, she pissed me off. Because the, th the, the thing is, the, the old white man, he could have saved the day. He was like, nah, fuck that. I'm about to blow this nigga shit in. The one nigga that was in oh, there yeah, writing and she, all that. Oh, yeah, and she hit him in the, the head? Shit. Yeah, yeah hit she... him in the head with the shit. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? And he like, thank you. Mm, like, oh, oh this man. nigga weird, yo. This nigga was too weird, bro. Fuck that shit, my nigga. Yeah, this, this honestly was a dope movie. It's been going viral all on Facebook as far as, like, just people, people saying like number one movie on Netflix. This movie is this is that. Twitter I will say it, it was it was pretty. It was a great movie. It could have been uh, better than what I thought it would. Yeah, be. for for the how hyped, like how hyped up it was on like on Facebook. I was expecting a lot crazy, a lot sicker, a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because we be watching some videos, some crazy shit anyway. So last, last forty minutes was probably the worst part of the movie. Like as far as like, like if you was to, if you was to, if you was to sit and watch that movie, you would love the first start until the last forty no, minutes. I ain't gonna say the first start. I say about like twenty to thirty minutes in, 
and to about an hour. So it's like an hour. No, fifteen. Because you got to catch when that girl go crazy. Mm, that true. you got to catch that. You gotta, that's when you really understand the movie. You gonna start the to girl's understand. Girl's best friend. Was, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then and then and then the the old dude. Yeah. But I we gonna spoil it too much. Nah, fuck it. We, we, we already spoiled it. So yeah, matter of fact, the old dude, the old dude wife came outside. My nigga, like yeah, oh yeah, I forgot yeah, about that, that. that that shit crazy. My nigga, she came outside just to try to save her, and she ended up looking at the sun, and then well, going to the damn car, and then the car blew up. My nigga, because she was like my my mother or something like that. Hello, She's mother. Like my mom. Uh, is that you? Hopped in the burning car, and just boom, nigga. And then that that's what fucked up the relationship of. Of the the main character girl, she's trying to come in the house like yeah, and he's like, "Bitch, like what the fuck you? You the reason that my wife is dead. If you basically, if we ain't let you in, she could have survived. Basically, if that nigga would have never let her in, he might have been living to this day. For real, they could have had control of that situation. They like, might have had their own little house. For real, <laughs> like the." Great, great movie. What's uh, Sandra Bullock? Yeah, great actor. Yeah, yeah, great she actor. definitely is a great actor. Great actor. Get her thing in that movie, man. Shout out to you. And you bad. Yeah. Yeah, you just lie. Damn, I'm trying to. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to think what what other keynotes or key shit was in there. I mean, great, um, great acting. Great what's acting. uh the dude that's good with Kevin Hart? Um, I forgot his name. I know you. Ta- I know he was talking about the movie though. Oh, man, I got to look him up. Damn. Damn, I, see, I, I don't even know what I could look up. Hold on. What's the, what's the movie called we just watched? Bird, Bird Box. Box. Bird this Box Cat. Movie, <laughs> My nigga, Lil Rail Howery. I seen he had a uh, show, I think it was on Hulu. Yeah, I seen he, he had a show, too. He was on uh, Get Out. He played a great role in Get Out. He played a great role in this Oh, yeah, he was the nigga that helped him get out the situation. Yeah, he came in. That nigga, that nigga get his cheese. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. Like, yeah. It, it, it's a lot of great actors in this movie. It, even about MGK. A lot of niggas were saying about the Eminem shit. Oh, no, he's done for. He's this. All the, I didn't see him in damn five Netflix movies that's, like, popping. And he just, he'd have a big role or he'd just have something just like him. But when you see him, you know. That's MGK, like. You, you spot him out every time. Yeah, th- 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 this movie was definitely dope as fuck. Um, don't let people into your house. Stick with what you know. Um, I, I was saying everybody said, like, oh, now I'm about to leave the house with a blindfold on. And I'm just like. Nah, not really, because, nigga, we ain't living like that. Nigga, like, I'm about to say, dude, you stupid as you... Like, what the fuck? We, it'd be different if it was on you our You gonna fuck like, around, nigga, nigga? You gonna fuck around, either get hit. <laughs> you gonna fuck around, somebody <laughs> gonna just take your shit. Somebody just gonna be like, like all nigga, right, I'm gonna take you. Ass. Like, nigga, Smack. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just do some crazy yeah. shit to you, my nigga. Don't do it. Don't do that. That'd be the dumbest thing to do. Like, we not living in that society. For real, but yeah. if, if shit was That's to way, get nigga, like that, like, like, yeah, 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 you got weird, yeah. Yeah, that, huh. <laughs> man. But shout out to my fucking bird box. Um, the director is Susan Beer, by Josh Malamer. Damn, budget nineteen point eight million. Screenplay Isaac Heisner. Yeah, this is definitely a great movie. Definitely a great movie. Just seeing what else motherfuckers saying. How do you direct actors who can't see? Get them. All right, but yeah, man. Shout out to my fucking bird box. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. Yo. Catch a body, young nigga. Catch a body. I'm fit like six nine, so everybody wanna try me. I ain't no lick, big ass guns. They gon' hit. It's a hit, we just let blood in his kicks, huh? I ain't no lick, big ass guns, they gon' hit, huh? It's a hit, we just let blood in his kicks, hey. In his kicks, but them shits is not red bottoms, hey. Took his shit, these nuts, how we got them, Bro was holding too much weight, I had to spot him, I'm on the way to the top, you at the bottom,
It's simple. How you gon' shoot something you cannot handle? I be out here like some toes and sandals. She over six feet, I'ma call her as Randall. I got me a lawyer, no Daniel or Crandall. Niggas wanna be up, but wanna skip the ride. The truth always come out of shit you can't hide. This shit 